clinic and uh, it's been one month since uh, I did the, my hair transplant as you can see and I just had it uh, washed and cleaned and it's time to get a haircut yep so I was going to get my haircut at Juno hair because everybody recommends Juno hair yeah uh, but Juno hair to be honest it's expensive it's, right yeah it's really expensive. and uh, Sunny recommended this place actually what is this place Sunny This is my favorite haircut shop. It's favorite? Yeah. So Motion Clinic is over there. Yeah. And we just walked two blocks to here. And we're gonna go check it out and yeah. get, get my haircut here. I'm just gonna give you my one month update on my, my hair transplant. And as you can see, uh, something to take note of. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen so this is not a shocker for me but what you're gonna notice is some of the hairs that have been implanted have fallen out. Now this is normal for the hair process okay when you take the hair from the back of your head and you plant it on top here it's gonna die okay within the first month or so. I've noticed that you know every time I wake up in the morning <clears throat> I notice these little hairs that are on my pillow and they're coming from here okay the implanted area this is what you're going to expect okay the hair is going to fall out but the root is going to stay there that root is is going to be there for permanent okay it's not going anywhere and it's going to just grow from there on oh. as you can see some of them are missing right especially around this area so that's not a shocker for me what is a shocker is uh the fact that my hair is growing really fast <laughs> In fact, I, today I got a haircut uh, just to clean up this, tidy up this area as you can see the back of my head. And it's all looking good now. So I just got my haircut and uh, yeah, I'm going to sport this uh, hairstyle, this two block hairstyle for the rest of this summer. I can see why a lot of people choose to shave their entire head. You know, once they get a hair transplant, because once they get that donor graft, it falls out eventually within the first month. So you might as well just like start fresh and shave it all. But like I said in the previous videos, you know, I like my hair, you know, long and intact like this. And uh, if it's covering the, yeah, this implanted area, then yes, it's fine. It's no problem. So from here on out, it's going to take about eight months to see the final final result you know when these areas are fully grown out all right and in the meantime i can sport this hairstyle to, to yeah just make it look like i haven't had a transplant at all and if you're wondering what the back looks like this is what the back you see from the back there's like there's scarring in the back but the longer you grow your hair out the less you'll notice and uh, that itchy sensation that I had in the beginning after I had my hair transplant is totally gone so you know after the, the, the few, first few days after my hair transplant the back of my head where they removed the grass was really itchy as hell so I used an ice pack to massage that area but uh, after a month or so it's, it's totally gone now right so I don't need the ice pack for the itchy area and I don't feel any pain around uh, this the donor area. I'm just totally fine, totally fine. Well, you you will notice that you see this purple redness here. It's still present. Okay, purple redness is present, but that will go away eventually. So don't worry about that. And as long as you're sporting a hairstyle like a two-block hairstyle, which covers the area, then you'll be fine. No one's gonna notice really. So that's uh, yeah my one month update on uh, yeah what my hair looks like and what can I say I could say I'm totally happy I'm totally fine after you know it's one one thing off my uh, to do list that I don't have to worry about I have to worry about concealing my my bold spots my receding hairline and uh, yeah that's it do I regret not shaving fully shaving my hair. Uh, not really because uh, like I said, I, I already shaved my hair before and uh, You know, it's cool and refreshing for summer, but I know how long it takes 
for the whole head to grow out again. It's going to take eight months. And uh, I just don't, I'm the, I don't have the patience to wait eight months for my whole head to grow out. And plus, you know, it's, the hair spikes out. It's hard to manage, you know, when it's growing out. But this is manageable, as you can see. Easy peasy. Looks like I didn't have a hair transplant at all. If you are interested in getting a hair transplant, definitely look for a clinic that has your back, okay? And for me, it was Motion Clinic. Totally worth it, you know, working with those guys. And uh, if you don't know who they are, I left the contact info down below in this video. And yeah, just message them and uh, they'll get back to you right away and they speak English. And uh, yeah, they're all, they're all good. The whole staff is fun, fun to work with. And that's all I have to say for now, okay? So, enjoy the rest of your summer. Wait for the next one month update, two month update from uh, here on in. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Okay, take care, bye bye.